How much she weigh now? Eleven and a half. Good enough. My goodness. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. Uh, changing. Oh, Have yeah. you had dinner? Uh, yeah, we, we, sh we actually did. You have we, had dinner? Yeah. We should have. We've got some uh, leftover right there. Yeah. Oh, still and hot. carrots and rice. Huh. That was good. If you can have any now, can you? Could well, you? we just ate just before we came here. Oh. Uh, did you get to church in Ashland today? We missed it. We were. Uh, I missed it on account of the bronchitis. Yeah, we were uh, kind of tired. The the little one kept us up all night. Oh. He's been crying a lot. He isn't old enough to uh, cut teeth, is he? is he? I don't think so. Is he a hungry little fellow or what? Seems to be. He hasn't. He hasn't slept good since he had his first shots. It's just. Now, do you know I had a flu shot? And then I ran on a few days, and in a few days I bro broke, come out with a bronchitis. Hmm. Now I don't know. I thought, but I don't think the doctors think it was from the flu shot. No. No. It almost seemed as though it was. But well, I've I've been sick the past two or three weeks too, with with the chest cold, and then it went up. That's so. But you, right now I'm basically getting. Getting over it. That's so. Yeah. My, uh, he said, <coughs> your sinuses. I said yes. Sinuses dropped down in my throat. Yeah. And uh, not stuff like that. Well, when you're young, you get over it for good, I guess. But yeah. It's kind of hard. And you heard about Philip's trouble. Yep. Going in. Going in tomorrow, I guess. I wonder if somebody, they were wrestling or anything. Boys were wrestling or anything. Maybe. He's, he usually shies away from roughhousing. Uh, so I don't know. They think, I guess, that it was a, a defect at birth, maybe. Maybe. But I guess it never bothered him till now. Nope. No. I said if it had been, it seems to me it would have showed up before now. I know, it, it would have, I think. What do you think? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> well, Sam and Joanne Blake had been up to Peter's. I think they'd been chopping wood, sawing wood, or whatever. I think and so. And they took the oldest boy, Travis, down with them. And then Peter was supposed to meet him here and pick him up. So they did, about, well, it was after seven. <laughs> you think baby's getting enough to eat? Are you still nursing her, him? No. Yeah. Just um, He's on a formula. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if he, he eats. When I went to the doctors to get his shots, they had me cut his formula way down, and he wasn't sleeping, and so they had me cut it down to 32 ounces, and I was feeding him more than that a day. And I just now, I'm not staying with that. Just mm, mm, mm. Wasn't enough for him. But he's still. Well, you know the the twins there, Peter and Melanie's twins. I said, you're probably feeding them uh, cereal. And they said, no, they didn't like cereal. They'd rather have the uh, food, the, uh, yeah. the greens and uh, vegetables that are all messed up, you know. Really? They'd rather have that than a cereal. Well, how old How old are they? What is it? Seven months, I think. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, he's only 13 weeks, so. I know it. Yeah. yeah. But, I'm yeah, that that's cereal. that's the next thing on the on the agenda. We'll be feeding him that stuff probably maybe in a month or so. Vegetables. Yeah. Yep. That'll probably take care of it. Yeah. I don't know why he shouldn't sleep good. Now, these babies, I said to Peter, don't they sleep all night by now? Well, he said they'd sleep, and then the oldest one waked up. I don't know what he wanted, but then he waked up the others, and then they get them all... Hmm. <coughs> all stirred <He's>, up. <laughs> and he said, that, I think they go to, ordinarily to the church of 
Pemby Valley, right? So. Yeah. Good so. church. Yeah. I've been there before. Yeah. I think it seems like I've been I've seen it at least. Yeah. And Peter says yes, and we've got to be ready for church at eight in the morning. Wow. I told many I could have said our church is at nine and then eleven I said you could have hit one somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> So well, I suppose uh, Phillips got to go in the hospital tomorrow. Yep. Plymouth. Uh, possibly Laconia. Oh. Yeah, they they're. So. He's gonna have to be um, put asleep. So they're gonna do it in Laconia. Uh. I'm glad it's not me. I I feel for the kid because I. I know how how you feel when you get under anesthesia. It's not a very good feeling. No. No, it isn't. No. Well, I'm sorry. They don't need that now. No. <laughs> and, uh, but if it's got to be tended to, why, uh, probably Matt, better Matt be now. Matt said it yep. was really Before he gets serious older. if it is tended to. Yeah, that's, that's what true. He said. So. I feel like I got an eyelash in my eye. And uh, Lynn just came in. Uh, she said they would put a sheriff's putting her boat in my garage. Do you see anything of her? No, I didn't. I didn't. No. A lady, Minnie said she looked out and the garage doors are closed. So, huh. they've had their boat over in Kenneth's yard yep. because we've had potatoes spread out in my garage drying. Yeah. And, uh, <coughs> I hack like anyone does that has bronchitis, I guess. Hmm. It was the while I raised, but I try to grab a. You sleep now. <laughs> it was funny. The little boy, little Austin, wants to walk, but uh, little Audrey, she wants to sit right down. I put put her up on her little feet, you know, yep. about that tall. I've grown tall, and. She said that the little boy says, what was it? Was it mom, mom, mom the other day? <laughs> I said, well, they begin to say something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they had a lot of lovely pictures. Uh, of the yeah, twins yeah. And Joanne's uh, taken a lot of pictures Travis, of them. But, uh, <laughs> caught in a little tight, though. <laughs> So, Aunt Minnie, you've been feeling pretty good lately? Yeah. Good. Just imagine, she's been out of the hospital for yeah. all summer long. Yeah. And all fall, <laughs> she hasn't. She goes to the doctor for a checkup. Yeah. And he tells her to do things in moderation. Yeah. Yeah. She was out picking up some little sticks. Aunt Lula has a little end stove. It's about as big as this. Just about here. the size of that, just a little one. Mm -hmm. And Sherry brought her down some of those little cedar blocks. They burn awfully good, mm -hmm. but she does need some kindling to start it with. Yeah. So Minnie was out yesterday. I don't know where it is. She picked well, up there was limbs sticks. that fall off the trees, and I snapped them up and put them in a bag. And she said that's just what she needed—a little piece of paper. And to start the little fire. Yep. And she enjoys it. She says nothing like wood fire. She's got a furnace downstairs and she has that turned on when when she needs it. But uh, when the little wood fire goes down that comes on, mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yes, it's been a miracle, I think, that Minnie's been as well she has. Um, well, I never had a cold all summer long. But then I went and got this flu shot. Yeah. And when I did, the doctor went all over me, and I had no signs of cold. And then, in three days after Hello. that... Hello? Excuse me? Um, who are you asking for? Billy? No, wrong number. Wrong number. Looking for a Billy. Hmm. Billy. They didn't. Yeah, every now and then you get a wrong yeah. call. Yeah. 
<laughs> whether it's intentional or yeah. just for fun, I don't know. Yeah. That canary has been shedding, and now he has got through, I guess, and he's beginning to sing. Yeah. Again. I don't know whether he's old enough to cut teeth or not. No, probably I not. I looked. It didn't look like this. You don't see any swelling. No. Nope. Somewhere yeah. around, what is it, six or Comes. six to eight months or something like that? To I don't begin know. to swell a little bit. Mm -hmm. and some kids are awfully fussy because yep. before they come through. The so I've been junior. You had yep. an awful time. Mm. They got <laughs> black on the gums. They, they were ready to come out, mm. but... Nothing had cut him through. I had to give him lime water and orange juice. And uh, then I gave him my measuring cup. And on the measuring cup, it has a little lid, you know, mm -hmm. kind of uh, stuck out. He couldn't get hurt that way, but he'd bite it, and all of a sudden, his tooth come through. And then the blackness went. The doctor said Something had, like a blister? Or bl yeah. yeah they come oh, up they blister. pop all yep. up. And his was black, mm. and the doctor said he'd have to lance them if they yeah. didn't come through in a few days. Yeah. And uh, what did you give him? Lime water. Lime water and orange juice. Yeah. Mm. That's what we had to give him, and that but I don't apparently think helped. Any of the others had trouble cutting No, that none of the others uh. did, and I don't know why, <laughs> but he did. If the baby was sick, he'd have a temperature, probably. Take yeah, it doesn't it. feel hot. No, he's all right. Well, I don't know. Oh, he's sort of such a cute little he, fella. He smiles and giggles all the time. He uh, does. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. You get him in the right mood, and he'll he'll smile at you. Uh, 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 don't seem like he's big enough. I know. <laughs> the last time we were here... He was just a little tight. Oh, I know it. He didn't weigh but a few pounds. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. feed him every few hours? Yeah. Three hours? Yeah. Yeah, but every three. We don't usually like to to have him cry all the time, but so we usually feed him some, I don't know, maybe it's wrong, but we feed him whenever he's hungry, I don't know. Well, I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. And they, the doctors wanted me to give him like three But the doctor three wouldn't hours say so. Three hours. But I know. I just don't, I don't want to have a spoiled little boy, but I, I, I want him to be comfortable. No yes. And if he's hungry, I think and he should be hungry, fed. If he's hungry, he should have something, yeah. I yeah. say. Mm -hmm. That's the way I used to do it, although... The doctor used to say, oftentimes, every four hours. But you know, they'd yell long before that. Yep. Wait and they was hungry. Yeah, they had something They're to hungry. eat, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you caught in the dike. You know, Uncle Kenneth uh, saw some grass coming up, and he's mowed it twice. He mowed it the other day, and he got 160 bales off from it. That makes the third time he's cut it over this summer. Whereabouts? Grandpa? I imagine it was down, as you come out. Oh, yeah, I the saw. Over by lotions, perhaps. Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. always looked green up in there. Yeah, it's nice. Ma. He tilled it one, one, one year. He the flipped hay. it all around. No, the ground. Yeah. He really yes, I think worked he it up, by, and I think it's good. I'm glad it's he did it. Good for it. Yep. Yep. Well, I was talking with Paul's wife, Elizabeth, on Bridgewater Hill yesterday. She said it was so nice, they thought they'd let the cows out to exercise, and they did. And she said Terry saw a group of those koi dogs, and it was five of them mm. up there in the field. Mm -hmm. They were waiting to jump something, and... Yeah. Uh, Terry went back to the house and got his gun, and he shot one of them. 
said it wasn't very old, but his teeth were bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, what did it look like? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess they eat anything that they can get. Yep. They someone must be so hungry, mustn't they? Well, yep. Yeah, someone said they saw one out here by the sharp corner, a big one, and he had a big woodchuck in his mouth. So wow. apparently they they catch woodchucks. I asked Kenneth, I said, you know that? He says, aren't many, I think they'll eat anything, they're hungry. Yep. You take Poor big thing. litters of yeah. <coughs> Laura probably told and you how she Paul seen little out bits of ones down the road wood one night. Oh, mm. she said they were the cutest little puppies. She thought they was real puppies. Oh, but, really? But they, they she found cute. out they were little koi dogs. Huh. I said, I'll bet the mother would have been nearby. Yeah. And June has got all of her apples picked and all of them graded. I guess some to sell now. But Good. She's got that done. And I know June and Bernard went up to West Thornton, and they usually have a greased pig up there, and anyone can catch it. It'll stay as... I, I mm. didn't... Probably it wasn't anyone that we knew caught it. <laughs> That's funny. Probably somebody did. Well, they take I think chances. they put Vaseline all over it, and then anyone catches it. They used to do that in the olden days, huh? That would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right? Well, I don't know. Beth Blake and her <laughs> boyfriend from Ashland, I can't think what his name is. You, Minnie? Peck. Peck, I think. David is Peck. Peck, Do you Peck know him? or something. Peck? Hmm. <laughs> they were going up to it last night. Yeah, actually, I think. I think it was, I went to school with him. You did? David Peck, yeah. David? Yeah, David Peck. David. Yeah, that's yeah. it. David. Pack. Yeah. He seems to be a nice chair. Uh, he must no. be if she's going out with him. Huh? She has a pretty good head on her shoulders. Huh? Yeah, and uh, she's going back to that college in January, I think it is. It conquered, I guess. Yeah. Huh. She'll have to stay there because... She wonders if she need, wants to be a nurse. She wants to be an RN. My mom, my mom was is probably going to be heading to be a RN. She's an LPN right now, is oh, that she is. and she's working at the Veterans Hospital in Boston. Is oh, that good so? Enough. So, yep, oh. she um, she's she went to college for many years, and she finally found the field that she enjoys the most. So, good. Right. well, that's good. Yep. Well, you know, Alan's wife works there in a. I guess it's in Boston, but of course they live in Beverly, mm -hmm. and this hospital isn't too far, but I think it's for, I don't know what you'd call it. She says she don't wear a uniform, and... Uh, not not the Beth Israel, or... Uh, I don't know, well, something. My mom worked there too, I think. Some once. kind, I guess. I don't think they're just right, uh, the patients. I think they're yeah. bad off. Something yeah. like that. I can't yeah. think what they call that. She says you never know whether somebody will up and Gonna knock drag you down, down into the gutter or what. They it's pretty watch. hard. It's kind of hard. I imagine yeah. it pays yeah. good. I'm sure. <laughs> Must be. Yep. Well, that little fella didn't go out trick or treating, did he? No, we we kept him inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went. I went well, down I... to June's, and there were twenty-two that came. And, and Nina said it was fifty at her house. Yes. And uh, imagine fifty of them. Huh. I thought they'd got pretty well depleted of popcorn um, candies. <laughs> We yep. did pop some corn. We got some in that white pail in front of you. You like popcorn? I'll give you a dish if you like popcorn. Some in the pie in there. Reminds me of the old days. There not be too much of it left, but I had a dish of it the other day. You like popcorn, Melissa? Yeah. Okay.
Mm. I ate a dish. I ate a dish of it the other night while I went to bed. Maybe yeah. real butter. Ah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm taping. Well, the doctor thinks he's growing all right. They tell me he's small. They said they've been telling me he's small for his age, but I don't think so. You know, Fine Lynn was in here today with her little girl. Now she's not near she as big as some girls her age. But he's big enough for me. She's small, and I don't think she'll ever be a big girl. Maybe. Yeah, you dip your. <laughs> yeah. She saw that board on the table. Thank you. And she said, pumpkin, pumpkin. I guess she says most anything that she and wants Jeff, to. And Jeff, her father, was going over to Mel, I mean, um, Dana's place and patch a roof today. Going over to Kenneth and have dinner. I told him we had some dinner ready. But... Maybe you want more salt on that. No, no plenty. Good. This is good. I haven't had popcorn like this since my grandmother was around. Is that so? Don't yeah. you have a pop We like yeah, the but you, once in a while. But this is the old, this is the old, old kind of popcorn that yeah. with the old butter, you know, and the salt. Yeah. And, <laughs> we pop it in a good. regular handled dish. Yep. Like that one is, I guess, down on the floor there. <laughs> Does he have colic or anything? He hasn't. Really. Yeah. Just the last couple of days, he's really been a little fussy. Mixed up for you, huh? Yeah. Well, I mix it with water. Mm. I have to mix. Oh, it. you have to mix it with some oh. water. I have to put some water with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't ever warm it. Yeah. Usually, well, this is. I warmed this when I put it in my bag before I, I came, so it's probably. We've got some mothers dish. don't even warm the bottles now. <coughs> yeah. I don't know. usually they don't do. Give it to them warm now. I don't think. We usually warm it right up. Yeah. It's better for him. <laughs> little boy blue. <laughs> Funny little thing. Blue eyes, hasn't he? Yep. Yep. Yes, yeah, so he's got blue eyes. Both of us have green. We have green <laughs> eyes. Aunt Minnie says she's got green eyes. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think mine are brown, but not blue. The father, Guy, was had blue eyes. And, uh, I had questions. I wanted, I wanted to ask you guys, um, things about your childhood and how you grew up, brought, were grown up. Uh, you know who your family was, your aunts and uncles, your dad, your sis, your sisters, your brother. You know, I never, I don't really know the your heritage. Yeah. I remember my my grandfather telling me all these things, but I never. Uh, I was so young, I, I, I didn't know, I, sink in. 
I know it, and you wish now you would ask more. I know. Well, even though my father's gone and Aunt Hattie's gone, we we should have asked her more than what we did. Yeah. But, uh, well, to begin with, we'd say that our grandfather, Stevens, was born in uh, East Derry, don't you think, Minnie? Yes. And he had, uh, he was one of a ten family. And he settled over where the, uh, what, what's the name of their people there that were there now? You did go on when, that when tour, you didn't you? Laura. Did you go on that uh, tour that we went around the Oxbow? No, I saw you guys. Um, you didn't come along. I drove by, room. but I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Well, we went, and uh, there was some Jenkins girls, a family of ten down there. <coughs> and uh, of these boys, his grandfather Stevens, he went into service. I think maybe one of the other brothers did. But he settled over where B uh, Wendell Bow now it lives. And then his brother Henry lived over beyond the grandpa's house there. Aunt Lottie's place, I don't know what you call it now. We called it Aunt Nellie's place. And another brother settled down back of the schoolhouse. That's why we stopped there that day. Up, the house is gone, but there's new houses round up in there, back of the schoolhouse. And there was Frank, and he married one of the Jenkins girls, and uh, Grandfather Stephen married a Jenkins. But I, I think of the brothers, he, they were the only two that married sisters. So there was three brothers, well, then there was a one other brother, Arthur, that lived on the, the uh, straight road, so-called. You know where the straight road branches off? Yeah. In narrow ways, he lived, Arthur. And then, uh, do you know the Mudget place down on the corner before you turn in there? Yeah. There was another brother, George. So there's four of them that settled in New Hampton. George and Arthur and Uncle Henry, and Grandfather, and Frank. Does that make five? That makes five, I think, <laughs> yeah. Well, Isn't that odd that they came from East Derry up here, and so many of the brothers? Come up here, we don't know. Hmm. And, uh, and my, my eight, grandfather. Eight brothers and uh, two sisters. That was quite a family, you know. <laughs> hmm. Yes. There was one of grandfather's sisters that lived where Kenneth does now, and she married a Rhodes. <coughs> she was a school teacher, and Minnie's got the bell that she used to use. Now, presumably, she taught school at the place at school down there. And uh, her husband and my father. That was right. They had oxen and they they hauled lumber into Ashland to the mill and they would vie to see which one would get down there with a load of lumber first in the morning. First one would get down there first and then the other one. And, uh, and grandfather kept boarders. Her name, uh, my grandmother's name was Alice Jane Jenkins. But we, we haven't come in touch with them. I suppose they Did Jenkins you ever itself. see that little thing there that they had? And the advertising there. Uh, I have to get in.
And my father's father That's a hundred years is old. not able. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is grandfather Stevens's brochure when he kept Is over there where the Wendell boys now live. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and they had horses and wagons, and they drove the guests. They got, went to Ashland to the station, met them. Mm -hmm. And it tells the price of it was for families. Have all you want of that popcorn. Yeah. You want to read it to Melissa? Very good. Five dollars a week. Wow. Families, I Just guess. imagine that. Children, three dollars. Wow. No discount made for long-term or short-term periods. Charles P. Stevens, pro 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 something. <laughs> proprietor. Mm. <laughs> And people recommended their place, and it tells about it, how it free from bugs and yep. mosquitoes or something. The air is not only invigorating, but <coughs> salubrious, something, bring, being exempt from the cold, bleak winds to which many places are subject, <laughs> and it, free from annoying insects. Yeah. Isn't that something? Perhaps they didn't have black flies in. We don't know. This CC that's a hundred years old. That yeah. was nineteen. Just imagine that. That's incredible. <coughs> Only five dollars a week. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I wouldn't even buy bread today, would it? No. <laughs> and. Uh, Uncle, the grandfather, Leon, I'd say, yes. His father was Winthrop Gilman Tarsi. And then, before that, Winthrop Gilman came down from North Averill. And, uh, Married my grandmother, who was a cotton from Holderness, and uh, Levine Jane. I've got their pictures down in my house, and uh, they lived there where me and uh, did. Isn't that something? Yeah. <coughs> and that paper, a hundred years. Some I would have thought that all of those was gone to pieces, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, I would Put definitely. That, that. Where you on it? I guess she had right in back of that. That's it. Ellen is going to print some. She's I got a printing so. thing. She that she's going to print some for the different but people. But Wendell Bow did go in. He took mine yeah. and disappeared a few minutes. And I wonder what he was going to do with my brochure there. And he come out in a few minutes with quite a number of copies of it. So I had some for the woman, New Hampton, historic. She gave people. them all out. So <laughs> they did. And I've got that one, and I think we're going to have some more of them printed sometime. Well, I think Ellen, you kept one, and Ellen took that, because she's got a printing yeah. thing. That's what Beverly said. And. Uh, Winthrop Gilman and Levine Jane, they had four children. Father, Guy, a daughter, Hattie, and a daughter, Lurleen, and a son, Uncle John. Hmm. And I know, I know they must have lived it here at one time. Oh, yes, they did. So, well, there must have been some lapse there between that, that they didn't always live there. And then somebody said, how come your father and mother lived in Ashland for a time? Well, 
My father got a job at this mill, sawmill. Now, I don't know whether it was up uh, out of Ashland, following the river up towards Holderness there. Seems to me there might have been a sawmill there one time. And because uh, they lived up off from Thompson Street, up in there, it's one of those farms up in there for a while. My father was working in the mill, and my mother must have, uh, I think Leon was born then, and I'm not sure about me. Yes. <coughs> oh, you cute little thing. Yes. <coughs> little blue eyes. Little blue eyes. Do you like to be right? No, he's growing all right. Oh, yeah. But I don't know why he said. Well, they lived there for a time. And my mother boy. must have lost <coughs> at least one yeah. child at that time. And the oh. doctor told her she'd better get back on the farm where yeah. they had milk and everything good to eat. So then they oh, went back. It Grandpa did live. So that was the answer to that. I, I don't know. My mother had had a, a miscarriage, I'm sure. Why? She spit up quite a lot. Yep. Says so Grandpa was born in 1895. Does he spit up quite a lot? I was born in 1896. There, you feel better, Daddy? You say daddy, mama, you say and daddy, father you? was yes, you will. a carpenter, a farmer. He could make anything. And he'd Look always take that. it right in the kitchen over there. Smiling. Where he could be comfortable. And I remember his making a sled for the horses once. And he <laughs> put it all together and made it Look at that in the kitchen. Thing. And we had a lot of fun playing yeah. with the shavings. When the lumber was being made That's there your daddy. in the kitchen. You see your mummy over there? And too? we, when we got big enough, see mummy? Lula say, say and Minnie and I and your grandfather used to Look go up, up on yeah, the hill, blueberry, you and we'd go up every day and pick you blueberries. Know it. No, sure. you're and not then, big uh, enough for that. Father would be getting in hay, and we had a horn, a tin horn. And Father would go out and blow that horn, and we'd hear it way up on the hill where we were burying. And that would mean time for your grandfather, Leon, to come down, help Father with the hay, load it, see? <laughs> the rest of us had stayed big bearers. And my mother would come down with great milk pails full of blueberries. And then she or somebody would harness a horse and we take the blueberries and the pails up to what's now the dime store in Ashland. That was Walter Brown's store. And uh, there was a man who worked for him, and he'd measure my mother's berries out. I think they must have been shipped to Boston, probably. And uh, then my mother, for the money of the blueberries, of course we had to buy, buy barrels of flowers, great big barrels of flour. And we had sugar in a big barrel, too. And my mother made bread. Look at that. And then uh, she bought cloth in this store, and she'd make Aunt Lula and Aunt Minnie and I dresses. She made our dresses. You couldn't buy them then, you know. You tired, though, right? And uh, she made our dresses, so we'd go to school with some new dresses. After picking well, berries also. You couldn't also. buy them them days. They either had to make them a, I guess, go without, but we never went without. There's a little boy that visits Aunt Lula, uh, Marie, that got killed there. Her son, Henry, and his wife hadn't had any children, so they adopted a little boy, and he's, I don't know, two or three years old, and two years, I don't Henry's know. wife brings him to Aunt Lula's, and she says, he runs around and he turns every knob on yes. the television and it mm. bothers her terribly. But mm. she says she has to say, oh no, it isn't any bother. 
and they're bringing this baby up uh, uh, by a book. And, uh, well, Minnie said the other day, when he's naughty, why don't they do something about it? And I said, well, I remember my mother spanking me once when we were way up on the hill and I wasn't finding any blueberries. And I said, she turned me up and spanked me. And I said, I could see blueberries everywhere after that. Yeah. You know, I suppose I didn't feel good. Yeah. I didn't want to pick berries perhaps every day yeah. or something. But I could see berries after that, a lot of them on the bushes. I bet. And I suppose we got tired of picking berries, but mm. that's the way we earned uh, living. Mm. My father would work out, had cows hours, and he'd do cotton to work here and then all around the town. Mm. <laughs> and this was in, back in the 1800s? Well, many years ago, when we were around, all kids. Or early, early 1900s. 19, yeah. yeah, early 1900s. Area, because <laughs> I was born in 1896, and uh, we were growing up in the 90s. And uh, huh. I saw in the paper the other day where the Boy Scouts of, of Bristol had. Uh, gone to the uh, Oklahoma, apparently, but they called it the uh, the mountain, uh -huh. where the Indians used to grind the corn. You've been up there. Oh yeah, Indian Mortar. Yeah, Indian Mortar Mountain, they called it. And I never heard it called Indian Mortar Mountain. Mm -hmm. Said so they learned a lot about the thing. Mm -hmm. There was a boy that was staying with us because our cousin, down the road, let's see, had, did they, had, they didn't adopt him, did they, Charlie? No, no, you, you, and you couldn't And then all of a sudden they him. decided to go down to Mississippi one winter. So what would they do with this boy? <laughs> you little rascal. So he come over home You is happy live. go lucky, aren't you? Oh, oh, good boy. He was down there, wasn't it? He that was down there in the Indian water once. <coughs> And he, uh, does he spit up? He much? threw a rock down over no. there. Sometimes. <coughs> he he threw a rock down over the Indian water, and he counted thirty. And when he counted thirty, there was a bobcat jumped out down over the ledge. Huh? Yeah, Must have been wild hiding there. up there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's Grandpa or someone has a picture of a um, of a girl dressed up. Haven't, haven't I got it up here on the side of the window? You look. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah. The one I I, the, I was working for a yeah, Sambon family in Ashland. Yeah. And his, you the father was huh? carried coal good all now? around Ashland, had a pair of black horses, and uh, this man that takes uh. pictures. He wanted a picture of that Indian martyr, and so we had this girl and I oh went up Jesus. there to the Indian martyr, and we took some of our corn and laid it up there in the picture. Yeah. <coughs> and he took a picture of her like she was an Indian. Yeah. We always imagined that he probably sold those pictures for some cowboys. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Grandpa's first wife was Theda Smith. Her father was Bradley down the road here, across from the old church. And uh, her mother had died, and she kept house for her mother, I mean for her brothers and sisters. And. Uh, she met your grandfather, of course, I suppose she'd known him all day, I don't know. So she married Leanne. Then they had Paul and Leslie and Lee and Jean and Kenneth. And uh, their mother was Theda Smith. And her father told us that he remembered seeing 
the pestle that they used to pound corn with on that hill up there by that place. Mm. And he said, he remembered it, and he said that uh, he thought it was some uh, the boys from the boys school, New Hampton boys school, that came up there and rolled a stone away and rolled it down over. Yeah. So no one has ever found it. Mm. But we always think this man that took the pictures, he said he'd climbed every mountain in New Hampshire and he had collected a lot of those round rocks mm. they must have I used. Bet he collected that one. What and I bet? think he probably had that one. Mm. I think he died in Concord, and probably in Concord there may be some of those stones, but he wouldn't have marked it where he got it, probably. Mm. No, of course but, not. But this Bradley Smith remembered when there was. A, mm. huh. You could look off for miles up there, couldn't you? We could used to, uh, but I well, it's grown up used to. now. Yeah. It's kind of grown up, I imagine, now. I wish someone could cut down and make it so it the way it used to be. Mm. Yes, I know it. I wanted to take a walk. Actually, today and, uh, I want to go up there. Uncle like, had I a, wouldn't go without a Uncle gun. Jesse I and Uncle Hattie orange. lived in yeah. on the Straits Road. The house was there until a few years ago, and somebody bought the land, and they either took the house down, and up where the barn was, they've got a new house up in there. My grandmother used to pity Aunt Hattie because she had to carry water to the cows up in that barn. Well, I don't know why they didn't make a well. I thought people could witch then and get a stream of water easy enough, don't you think? I think they had a well there. You mean, why didn't they make it up there? Yeah, that's what I yeah. say. Instead and of your grandfather water all the life to cattle. Your grandfather and I, a few times during the winter, we would walk down over Cooley Hill and visit my aunt and uncle, and we'd watch up the road for the mail carrier. And uh, if you were down there now, I don't think you could see up that road. Not very far. No, up, I don't believe so. We'd watch for the mail carrier, and when he'd come, then we'd get the mail, and we'd take it back over Cooley Hill home. Not every day, but just once in a while, Sundays, I think it was. Huh. Uh, how, uh, what kind of shape was Cooley Hill Road in back then? Hey, what? What kind of shape was Cooley Hill Road in back then? Oh, it was good. Good oh, for yes. a horse. They well, kept, oh, yeah. Kept it good. But... Then yeah. the town gave it up, Even the and then the steep part near the big rock on this side of the ox, on the oxbow, that's pretty steep up through there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <coughs> boy, well, this I, end of they Cooley always Hill, kept it good, though. As long as the town didn't do anything to it, when there'd be a big rain or something, wash right down that road, and it's washed it out. So hmm. I imagine it. It's well, I guess good. anyone could walk over it, but I, I don't think anyone could get a car over there no, anymore. No, no not no, now. But no. Yeah. It would be a good uh, road for horseback riders yeah. to go up over they, there. <clears throat> they got some. They had some logger on the other side, mm -hmm. logging out there. Yes, we yes, remember. They did. It was a Dr. Huckins in Ashland, and he had sawmills down there. Well, there was a man once asked me, wrote, I don't know why or how why he wrote to me, but he said that he knew that there was a graveyard down at the foot of that hill. Mm. You seen that? And uh, well, little stones. Just there were just field stones. stones. <coughs> there was no inscription written on them, but I suppose that's the way they buried somebody. It was just to put a field stone there. Then yeah, it must have sometimes. But I told him that there was no inscription on any of the rocks. But his name was Cooley. See, and that's where we get the Cooley Hill. Yeah. I suppose they lived down there. I, I suppose so. There's also a well. Well, they used to. As yeah. you go down from Leon's side on the right hand side. There was a butternut tree down there. And your grandfather used to go down with a bag sometimes in the fall and come back with a bag full of butternuts. That mm. he carried up over that hill. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, I know there's a, um, there used to be a house on that road. Yes. It was a, I yeah, guess there's a back. I can't remember it, right, uh, but I do remember there was a, a story that goes sawmill there. there down there to put the, yeah. Yeah. and there's a way we'd cut down across to it, too. <coughs> we go up on our Indian mortar hill a ways and then branch off down across the, the woods down there, and we'd come out down that way. Um, but all grown up, yep. and up where, up on a level, as you might say, going up towards the Indian Mortar, we had some big maple trees growing. They were as big as my arm, and there was one place where this tree come up a ways, and then it branched just like this, and it kind of grew together down the bottom. And we had some cows out in that pasture once, uh, young people, young cattle. Mm -hmm. And uh, we lost one. Didn't know where it was. And uh, we hunted and hunted. And this young heifer, I think it was, she must have jumped somehow and got her hind legs caught in that tree and died there before we could find her oh. uh, on that flat up there. Wow. Oh, dear. Well, yeah. what, what about Sunset Hill? There ain't any stories behind there? You know there's a house, there used to be a house or something up there. Or... Yes. There was a boy from Ashland. His name was Clifford. And it was said that he had a girlfriend down over the hill. And, uh, and I guess that was right, but he would carry lumber from Ashland well, I don't know. He must have had a, a wagon and a horse for a ways, didn't he? I think so. And well, left it down out in Ellis place. And he'd lug those boards. And then he'd lug those boards on, on his, his back, back. And built that house up there. I've got a picture of it. It is a nice little house. Huh? Oh, it's beautiful. And, uh, you can see, see for miles. Huh? Yeah. And, uh... Then there was another little shed he had Yeah, I've seen that. That's still up there. Yeah. Well, it, I don't know whatever happened to it, but we think somebody must have gone up there with a match and meant to burn it down. Yeah. They thought Why, hunters did know. it. Because in the winter time, when it did it Could have been. Nothing would ever gotten up there to burn it. Yeah. Uh, but... The hedgehogs have chewed this other little building down pretty well, I guess, yeah. by now. It's, yeah, it's pretty beat up. Yeah. The new people that they bought on and Ellie's these, place, this family lived the next one. house to the Methodist house Church. Up there. Uh, the Cliffords lived there. They were Methodists, and they lived there in that first house uh, beyond the church. And uh, this was one of the boys and how he could sing. But I don't know how we ever met this girlfriend that lived down the other side of the hill. But I don't know. When he ever saw her, but anyway, they just, why they said he built that house up there. And then we never knew what, but it sounded just like somebody went up there yep. and intended to do away with it. It's pretty view from up there. Yeah, I've climbed a tree, and uh, that's the only way you can see anything nowadays. Is it? Yeah, you gotta go way up. You gotta, I had to climb a tree, but you could see down into Meredith. You could see the, uh, the little church in the Meredith Center. Yes, I know. Um, all kinds of stuff. Somewhere you could. And they used to be. You could uh, see. Uh, there's like a little view. I don't know if it's over overviewing the um, power line or what. But yes. there's like a little place where you can sit down and you can see all around. I know it. You can yes. almost see all around you. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know who dubbed it uh, Sunset Hill, but we called it that for good many years, and I don't know if it still goes by that name. Well, I not, guess the sun went right. down there. And that's the last, yeah, that's the last mo yes. mountain you, you see the sun and there. This, uh, yeah. this man that's bought that place now, his, I can't think what his last name is, but. On this uh, historic trip we took, he took us into the house, and I told him how my great aunt used to live there and have flowers across the road, 
And he says, we have flowers now here. And I said, uh, there was a young man, I know it's their son-in-law, or going to be a son-in-law, what? I said, down in this corner near the road, and my great aunt had an apple orchard. He says, well, I can see an apple tree there now, but of course they've gone by. And, uh, and he, this man told me, they built, it was building over, the chimney right then, and we have a pretty good idea, you see, down back of the schoolhouse, we could always dig up bricks. So there must have been a brickyard right there, and we have an idea probably those brick were made there, carried over that house when it was built. Well, they said the bricks that made the Baptist church was from there, too. Mm. I guess and that was the only brick-making people around. Yeah. Well, this man's wife has been a mayor in either Manchester or Concord. And probably they got money because they said they didn't quench at all at the price they paid. Hmm. About the David Stevens's people that lived there, they've got a nice trailer over towards Sky Pond. And uh, one of the boys stayed there and had a few cattle, but we used to have a barn, they used to have a barn up beyond, and then they had a runway to go to it. And we would sit there and watch the frogs jump in this puddle of water. He wondered about another well. Well, I knew there was one out back a house, but, and a pump house, but they've, building the house over, they've covered that up, I guess. But he told me that eventually they may build some sort of a camp way up on top of that hill again, so you may live to see That'd it. That'd be a That'd job. Be nice. Sometime. Just but uh, I've, I've been up that road with a four-wheel drive. It was some, sure it was a bumpy ride, but I bet. You went up on Grandfather's side, maybe. Yeah. Isn't there, a, is, is there another road is somewhere? Um, well, well, they I'm long did Going to Sky Pond used to be a stagecoach road. Hmm. Well, did you ever go up on Sunset? No, I don't. <laughs> I'd like to take her. No, I don't think she's ever been up on Indian Motor either. No, she no. never did. No. I'd take her. I made some it's uh, quite a, signs. Uh, quite a little trip. On shingles. And I gave them to, well, I tacked some up, heading you towards Indian Motor. And then. I made some more and gave them to Grandpa, but what are those ever were tacked up on the trees to guide you or not? Well, I, I know the little the Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts stacked a bunch of rocks on. I know, uh, piles of rocks. Yeah. 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 I've, I've been known to get myself lost a couple of times going up there, but it's been quite a while. I wonder if uh, I'd, ever, I'd be able to find it. Uh, no way. Oh, but, yes. Yeah, sure. You wonder if I would have the times I've been up there, yeah. but we know the direction of it. Yeah. You go from the lower end to where the bars were. Yeah. Go left and then you go down this, it's like a gully. And, and there's then like a, we had, yeah, we go up a little ways, up again. and we call that the Hall Renoff Rock. When we were going blueberry and we'd go up that way. You went by the bars and up the hill a ways. Then there was a big flat rock, and you could look down and see the house then. I doubt if you could now. So I don't today. imagine you could see anything. But we call that pretty. the hollering off rock. We'd get up there and haul off oh, yes. back to anyone that happened to be out down at the house. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've been I've been up in a plane. My uncle, my my mom's brother, he has a plane and stuff. After my motorcycle accident, we, um, right after it, actually, the next month, we, he took me up and we flew up. We flew over Grandpa's and my yes, dad's. Uh, you did. Over Jackson Pond. That's right. Uh, and up, right over Kenneth's. Yes, I took uh, I took video pictures. I have them at home. You can see them. You can watch them on your TV of, of flying right over all these places. It was kind of neat. So. You, you wouldn't think, it's just a holler. You... And, from way up there, you wouldn't, you would think, 
you wouldn't think they were so close together, but everything is so close together. My dad's house was just, yeah. I mean, it just seemed uh, like he no, was I... just a, a rock's throw away from Grandpa's. <laughs> but it was something. Well, the way Melvin now lives, your grandfather bought that house of Elman. I don't know who he bought it of, but it was an Elman Huckins place. And Aunt Lula and her husband, four children, lived there for quite a while. And then he come over and he said he needed an operation. He guessed they'd go back to Laconia. And they did. And from Sunset Hill, I've got a picture that I took. You can see those two farms there and the stuff. Wow. Well, your grandfather bought the place and uh, about that time, Nettie and George, I guess, got married and yeah. then they stayed there a little while. He put a sign up out there, Dr. Yeah. Luciano. I yeah, I remember visiting over there. But, uh, it was different. of course, Nettie was in trouble and Grandpa never thought much of that when George before they were married. Yeah. And Grandpa never thought much of that. No. And, uh, but anyway, they stayed there a while, but, and they were supposed to pay your grandfather, but I doubt very much if they ever paid anything. I don't I, know. I don't know that they ever paid anything. I wouldn't know. Then your father took it over, and he's been there and stuck there ever since. Well, in a number of years, they've been there, you and know. And Nettie and George went back to Ashland. I didn't yeah. know Grandpa owned that before Nettie and George. Uh, you didn't? Because uh, I, ne I never was, I never seen that place. Only uh, when uh, Nettie was living there. I never been there before. I never time. even heard of it. And I didn't. And, uh, and it was yeah. so, And I remember walking over there when she just moved in or something. And it, yeah. It's quite different. I, I, I learned that there was a bunch of, there was a barn here. And, yeah, there was a yes. barn once up yeah, beyond. Big, yeah. 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 My goodness, I remember this Elman Huckins who lived there. And uh, he had cattle up at that barn. Oh. And, yeah, I knew it. I'll take him. Mummy will take him. He forgot the burp. Is it throwing up? Yeah, I forgot the. He didn't get the burp, so. Hi, dear. Hi. There's one. He ate quite a bit, didn't he? He was hungry. He didn't burp. His mouth is coming out of his mouth right now. Yeah. He burped and uh, took up some of it. He probably didn't get his gas up in between. No. No. It happens. Yeah. Like, Oh, yes. Ugh. Nothing serious. No. no. He's, he's used to that. <laughs> I'm glad it's not me, because, boy, I wouldn't want to be yes. spitting up all the time. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, he don't spit up too much, does he? Well, once in a while. If he if he has too much, Natty he'll get rid of it, and then he feels a whole, but, a whole lot better yes. if he has too much. And I wonder if there's a new formula, maybe, that... Uh, well, it isn't agreeing with him. Some, yeah. Nettie, Sometimes. come bringing no, this that picture could be. over. She said that it was in her mother's things. Well, it was long before your mother ever came to town. And it was Uncle Lee in the back and Joanne out here. It was... You'd have to have a micro... I mean, a yeah. microscopic to see them. Yeah. But she didn't know why she had it, why her mother had it. Well, I think they grabbed a lot of things up there and... Huh. Well, they was thrown. When but people broke was, in, they threw a lot of Years ago, around. down here to the old Dana Church, it says Dana Meeting House. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was Lee and I think Albert Smith and... That was Joanne, I think, probably Nina. Sunday school class. I don't down know there. whether nine or well, nine at that time would have been big enough or not. Mm -hmm. But I know they used to go down. Well, we were surprised mm -hmm. when Ned and George bought this new house over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
It's lovely too. You've been in it. Yeah, once. That yeah, was well, really nice. It's really. Did you nice. know the man that built it built the one end of it right over a great big ledge. You saw and that they downstairs. They can't do anything about the They're ledge. Great. I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, it's a down near the garage. You're going beyond the garage, ledge. and there's a m immense boulder right mm. there. And he he built that house over. He did. Yeah, great rock. Right that over funny? that. Uh, and that's something. And I said, why didn't he blast it? I know. That maybe he... he didn't dare to on account of the near neighbor. Oh, maybe. Yeah. You suppose that was it? Could have been. Because the rocks would have blown everywhere. Yes, they would. <laughs> and he uh, he makes houses and then sells them. That's what, it, that's what he does. Buy a little chunk of land. And, Make yep. a beautiful house. They kept house. getting after him. But you yep. knew how to make that house. Yep. Because I don't think he told them where the well was. Hmm. And it was right under the well. He put a wall in. I yep. don't know. Well, right there. Hmm. Well, I said I to Nettie, I said, with the witch there. stick, you could easily find out where the well is. Did you ever witch? Well, I've done it. I, it, it goes with you? It, yeah, well. It yeah. don't with me. I can hold it like she I has. do it like this. With a apple. I don't do it with metal rods or copper rods, but I can do it with a with a apple. They say apple is better, right? A piece of grass will work. Grass? A little piece of grass and it will twist itself all to pieces. Really? And yeah. Well, I don't think it's done that to me, but no, but I yeah. It makes my wrists all pricky. Yeah, I, hurt, I, I really. don't know why. I I don't understand it. Did you ever try it, Melissa? No. Well, it's something I. It's, no it's, one can it's, explain. Hopefully, why. hopefully it's no no, it's no special power stuff. It probably has to do with with something. Uh, Something natural. I, I I would hate to say. I would hate to think that it was. I can't we were, do it. We were doing something that can. was kind of witchcrafty, but <laughs> I know it. But they call but, it witching. Yeah, but, I know. But a uh, dousing. Yeah. And but I I, I, I hopefully don't know. it has to do I with something that's nat a natural. Your so. father must. In this picture. I hope because so. I can do but it, and I I'm. I don't see, but I can see Lee. I don't think I have any special powers. <laughs> It well, was a Sunday school down here to the old church. <laughs> Quite a lot of little ones there. They couldn't have been more than eight or ten years old. I don't Lee, think any of them do. They look pretty Kenneth's young. Uh, brother that got yeah. killed. This woman yeah. used to come from, I think, uh, yeah. Laconia uh, or Meredith yeah. somewhere well. and teach like Sunday school for them. And they all loved that. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the Sunday school teacher was there. Or if that I think she came from a little church in Meredith or Laconia. Or I can't remember even what her name was, but I know she was real nice. Then might have been some of the beard girls down here. Yes, and some Albert B's uh, kids. Yeah, and you know one lady. year he shaved that's all these right girls' hair him, off. Well, and. Uh, uh, Aunt Helen said, well, it was easier for her to take care of them. I thought that was awful. That is. That's you know, girls Well, I think your father hair. went to school yeah. a while down here to the Plaisted School. He must have, didn't he? Done what? Her father must. Yes. Have gone to school down here to Plaisted School. I think so. I think so, because yeah. his... His picture was. He went to school students. with my uncle Lucian. Uh, of course. So uh, my uncle Lucian went there. And, yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. a whole bunch of other folks before they went. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was the school they all went to. I don't think I knew your father's father. I don't think so. Um, Hen James. Oh yes, I did too. Of, of course, course I did. did. Down Henry. on Winona. That's oh, right. No, Down on Winona yeah. Road. How is she, by the way? She's been in and out of the hospital a few times. Heart. Yeah. 
Is she hot? Well, she's so. been on this medication no. that that's not been the right medication. It's been poisoning her. Right. Um, the medication the doctor had her on was poisoning her. Oh my God! Yeah, it, was her it was hurting her, making her think strange things. Mm -hmm. and, so. But the idea. I know. Mm -hmm. Who's a doctor? <coughs> Uh, I Shh, ha that's uh, right. When you, he was uh, down in New Hampton, living there, she and he came up uh -oh. once with to me with some egg boxes it. that yes. they had saved well, for me. Uh, well, I hope Made she a special changed, trip up there, as far as I know. Yeah, she's getting better. Good, on. but we don't see much of. So that must have been where your father lived, and how he came up to this school. Well, I don't that know. was a there school was... I had to come up to on that road. Yes. Yeah, well, he lived, then he lived down in Winona Road, and that was just a little ways And then, mile then away they went to uh, high school in Ashland. Yeah. 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 They all used mm -hmm. to sled down, all the way down the, the road, I remember them hearing about that. Yeah. Sliding from the top of the hill all the way down into almost down into us. Yes, oh, we used to yes. slide way up that top of that hill. Yeah. Uh, John Buzzle, Lloyd down here, Buzzle's father, he lived over there at the top of the hill on going towards Ashland on the left instead of the right there. <coughs> and <coughs> They had some lovely chestnut trees up there. It was on his land. And the children from school always used to go up, I guess, to pick chestnuts. If you ever ate one of those chestnuts, they're good or different than what you get from the store. Mm. Those are Chinese chestnuts or something. Yeah, those something. are different. But these tasted good. We'd yeah. roast them on the stove. Well, this man, Bill Buzzle, he was mad, I suppose, because the children kept getting them. So he cut those trees down, but <laughs> I guess in the meantime, I don't there was a disease struck any, all yeah. of them anyway. I, don't, I haven't seen a chestnut tree, tree ever. I can we show you here. one we, right out here. We've yeah. got one right here. If the leaves here. haven't fell off. But it never amounts to anything. Oh, that's too bad. It just comes up about so tall and stands there. And uh, one Some disease they've yeah. got. Just like the oak. Some oak disease. They're long leaf. Yeah. yeah. If they haven't fell off. Mm -hmm. But there's an old stump there, but it keeps coming up. And who was it? Lance, I want it. Gates from Pennsylvania was here, and he said, Grammy, do you know you've got a chestnut tree? <laughs> she said, yes, but... Well, I did find one out here not many years ago that had some uh, nuts on it, but they weren't developed. But they weren't good. developed. They come in great burrs. Great like. big birds. They're all pricky, I know, but. And the then it pops open, and small. then there's all these mm. little chestnuts. In it. <laughs> but they don't seem to get very big. The they shoots from it. Yeah. Yeah. So you got all your potatoes dug? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, um, how they come out? Good, very good, yeah. very good. Good. I only found one when I was digging that <coughs> had rotten on the end. But a lot of people, Paul said a lot of his are rotten when they dug them. Uncle Paul's was so, so I don't they had know. A I guess we were lucky. God, they yeah, are little. <coughs> My dad had some good size, but mostly they're small, smaller than. Yeah. In, in the past, uh -huh. so I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> when I lived at East Derry, there was a fellow that used to come from Massachusetts up there, and he'd buy bags and bags of little bits of ones. And he had a big family of kids, and he said his wife would wash them all good, and then uh, cook them, and then put them into one of those presses. And that would take all of the skins out. Yeah. Just the potatoes. I just soon leave them on. I mean, the little ones are good for soups and stuff. You yeah. You don't even have to cut them. You just leave them. I know it. They're good. Leave them with the skins right. on them sometimes. Your father said he had quite a number of bushels. Well, he did. He did plant a lot. It's 
they're this little. Well, they some of them are little, but they're not like nice big. Not great big bacon ones. potatoes, but they're. You ought to show him the, your potato, <coughs> Minnie. Kiss the sour. Minnie put some in. Way to pound and a half, and then some. Mm. And Patricia uh, weighed that. Mm -hmm. We went to dig them. Boy, it was big. <laughs> I think it's about this big. Oh, really? Weighed over a pound. Wow. We went to dig it out of the ground. And... Oh. <laughs> How's that? Oh. Some potato. That's something. That's a nice That's potato. That's something. I'm going to show it to our camera. That'd be a meal. For... Yeah. That'd be some. a whole meal for anybody, I guess. Wow. It's heavy too. Good size. Gee, I, I wish all of them came like this. I know it. I don't know. I don't know what you do with them though. That would be. That's it. They'd be too big. Yeah. Probably hollow hearted. Boy, this, this might be, a, be. I don't know. Be a nice family, or right? this, this right here. <laughs> it's so big. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's neat. Aunt Nettie went down the other day to take Melody to see if she was eligible to <laughs> go to college large. next year. That's some uh -huh. potato. After graduation. Uh-huh. Well, Joanne says, I don't think that amounts to anything. If you enter a college, you've got to take another exam. Right. But she had some time to waste. And Aunt Minnie says, why don't you go up and visit Aunt Lula? And she did. And... Uh, and took a picture of Aunt Lula's African she just made and uh, made a call. Mm. Well, Nettie has kept away from a lot of them uh, since Pamper died. Yeah, well. All, you know. <laughs> yeah. But she's kind of warming up with him. Good, I hope so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope things will be settled and everyone will get together again. They should. Uh, I can't wait. Because life is too short. That's right. To hold grudges or anything. It hurts. It tears you up and it doesn't get you nowhere. That's right. I mean, it's no, I mean, I mean, we all have our pride, but the, the, this, this, there's a, you're not supposed to go overboard. I mean, you're supposed to be <laughs> humble and be. Yeah. I know it. Be well. good to others as they are good to you. Of course, we thought that she never should thought of breaking her father's will. We thought you'd ought to take what you get. Well, yeah. somebody said, but it wasn't breaking it. It was merely the the lawyer said just setting it aside. What's the difference? <laughs> Makes me mad, but. Well, I mean, I, 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 I don't think my grandmother knew what was going. She, she was just doing what she thought was right. Cause Nettie yes, was, of course she did. I mean, she didn't want anything. I mean, she missed my grand. She missed him. You know, oh, cool. she didn't need. She didn't want anything. She, I know she just it. wanted Nettie, Nettie to be happy because she was. Yes. She just, you know. I guess that was it. But I think she did what she thought was right. I guess ain't. Dana gonna try to. Hmm. Isn't Dana gonna try to. Uh, they what? Get, is Dana gonna try to get you know take over the farm? I or? don't. I don't know. I don't, don't know. understand. Kenneth well, got permission. To why? Cut the grass they there, don't I settle think. it and be done with it. Yeah. Is more than I can see. But of course, the longer that lawyer puts it off, the more money he is getting for just holding. And now you know what. Uh, uh, Bernard's mother died years ago, and she had already made her will uh, to a lawyer down uh, in uh, Florida. So he's holding off. Huh. And of course, the more he holds off, the more he gets. We know that June and Bernard own this strip of land yeah. where they built the new house down there. And it goes way up around Aunt Minnie's farm. Yeah. Below the potato patch, way down there. Mm. Huh. Wow. And yeah. Glenn wondered if Grammy would sell her land, any of it up here, for them to build a house on. And Grammy told him, Aunt Minnie told him, says, 
I've got six children at that time, and I said, and their father wanted them all to have a part of it. Mm. So, so she couldn't the way sell it. I know, eight, yeah, eight. There's six and, of her. Well. Yeah. <coughs> Adam said, now that Daddy is gone, he said, you'll have to change your will. I says, no, I won't either. I says, because your dad was my son, and his children will get what the father got, or wife one or the other, I don't know which. <laughs> But, I never yeah. made my will. Laura, don't believe in making wills. Well, I said, it's if sad. Grandpa's it's, will would be broken, yeah, I know. what would be the use of my making a will? See, you if, say if you I don't, said, I have the state will, will take anyway. I said, I've got a little camp down here, and I've got a... Times have changed, haven't they? When, they? when your word was your word, and that was it. <laughs> and no one, want, you know, no one took you for a ride. I mean, you, could, you trusted people. But I, nowadays, it's... It's hard to even well, trust it. Trust well, they say it. if you haven't got a will, the state will take right over and take you almost know, everything. That's why I think, um, I, I, I believe in this thing. You, If you have something that you want someone else to have, you um, give them the rights to it before, when, before you, you go. Give it to them well, before. I guess that's the only way. So it. that way, they can't. no one can take, no. take what you want someone to have away from that's them. That's right. That's what that's what some people do, and they don't they don't have to yeah, they don't I have to have a lawyer that way. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> I don't. You know, I, I don't know how much land goes with that place <laughs> where your grandfather's folks lived. I don't know. Was there much land? I don't think. I'm not sure how much it is they own. Goes down in there. I don't yeah, know I'm how sure. much land there is. It's just a shame Probably, that yeah. somebody isn't living there. I feel so bad. Yeah. I'm, I, because it was a good home. Yeah, I drive by there all the time. And I hope they'll settle it. Uh, yeah, I it's know. been five years. Do you know it? Uh, it's stuff. just a few days ago. Yeah, it's, it's something. Huh. But I'm sure good will turn out of it. I mean, we've gone through a lot of hard, hardships, but. Now it's time. I don't think it get. I don't think it could get any worse. I'd hate to say. I hate to see it, but I think it can get better. And I think it will. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I hope they'll settle it and everyone will be happy again. Yeah. Because it should be. But yeah. June now with June and Bernard's land around here, they seem to know that it's going to be theirs. But whether Harriet willed it to Bernard. What I don't know, whatever, no, probably. Well, mm. I think. But they, they built the house on the land. But well, they owned that. I know they did. Around I don't know us. whether she gave it to them or whether they bought it. Well, I don't know, but. Well, <coughs> it hasn't been able to help any with the apples, I guess. No, you know he's not too good at all. He and walks the, with a cane now. Yeah. Well, he ain't on two. Things I see. Yeah, with a them things that goes over his wrist. Yeah, and he can get around that way. But I don't know. There seems to be no, no cure, cure for, for it, whatever it think. is. But and what it is, I don't know. They say it's the nerves. Don't tell the muscles what to do. Whatever. Yeah, that. called muscular muscular something. dystrophy or it's something, something like, like that. it. I guess. I but don't not know. just that. I wonder if the you doctors know. even know when they're giving him medicine for it, uh, and he has to take medicine and go to Hanover doctor, and then he went to some doctor way up in Maine, and oh. This is what I think. I I I I'd love to see him healed, but I, because I've 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 had my legs taken away from me at, for a time. I mean, I I missed it, but I just as soon keep my up here. I know it. Yeah, I know. As it. long as I I keep my head and, and my and my. That's right. Uh, I you know, I, as long as I can keep up above, I, I'd hate to be totally paralyzed. I know it. But it's a it's a sad thing to lose your walking ability, the simple task of walking. It, it's Do sad. They you have nights, to walk with uh, crutches for yeah. some time. Yeah. But my knee hurts once in a while. I have to rub it. Um, 
still swells some. Yeah, you can tell sometimes when it's gonna rain or something, you know. Mm. Yes. But uh, but boy, am I fortunate. Yes. That's what Ken used to say. You know, he had, he broke his leg when he was working the sawmill down Merida. The big log, he said it either rolled over him or rolled his leg. Mm. He decided he guessed he'd let it take the re the leg and it broke it. And he said when it was going to rain, he said the damp weather or something used to bother that leg. Yeah. I guess it did for a good many years, and I guess that's the way it does. Yeah, he's got, he's got me messed up fingers. You notice, Kenneth? Oh yes, arthritis. Mm. And that's what and sets then in. I think yeah. Lee, uh, when they was little, they was uh, split in a stick, and Lee decided to see how close he could come to Kenneth's finger. Mm. Lee, you mean? And so he was holding the stick. And he come pretty close and hit one of them right in the bone. Yeah, yeah. I never knew and that, much about that. That curled that finger right out. I suppose they were kids growing up. And uh, broke it, I suppose. I don't know. Gosh. And then he said when he was uh, going to the fair, he had one of the cattle. And I don't know, he had all of the the uh, halter or something and it snapped and broke a finger. I said that's all he needs because his hands are so crippled. Before he had s some kind of a skin. Yes, you oh, know yes. about that too. Yeah. He does. And, and it goes along with this. He had to go to the doctor and get some kind of like a Yeah, they a take liver. out a piece every now and then to uh, so see that this Awful medication hasn't stuff. affected his kidney. No, yeah. nobody liver. knows how it comes on or, or what. Hmm. Just either you get but it or don't. I yep. guess a lot of the doctors thought he'd be in a wheelchair before now, but he keeps active. Yep. And Dana says, my father will sit there for two hours every morning and night milking those cows, and he don't see why he don't use the milking machine. Really? Like Uncle Paul does. But Kenny says himself, his hands are so stiff in the morning and so swelled, if he didn't use them for that, well, he thinks they'd be so stiff he couldn't use them. Probably true. Yeah. Okay. So he uses those to milk the cows twice a day. Mm. Dana says spends two hours milking. Well... And Lula's twin, Edmund, has an arthritis in his hands, and the doctor's given him now some it's sort of a together. ball to squeeze. Arthritis. They say it's helping. Yeah, her her grandmother has arthritis. Her, so sometimes her finger just goes like that, and they have her dip her hands in some hot wax, mm -hmm. and then they and mm -hmm. keeps it, it in there. And, it, and does it, that help it? Seems to. Yeah. As long as she does it, um, she's supposed to do it like twice a day or something. But yeah, the warmth of the wax kind of uh, loosen up those joints. That's so. Uh, Did you go down to the camp, down to Ocean Park, any of the summer? Yeah, we went down. Yeah, we a few went. Times. Uh, right. Before we had, she had the baby, uh -huh. and just recently, uh -huh. well, maybe, well, over a month ago, but you went down. Yeah, we went down. It was a good time. That's so pretty. It's just a little ways from where our cousin Lillian has her. Yeah, Jim, her father said that he yeah. knows some. I was walking, knows. you know, out on the beach, and my cousin said that I shouldn't talk to everybody on the beach because <laughs> you didn't know who you was talking to. And I told her, I said, it's someone from Ashland I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of you girls, I don't know which one was with you. Do you, do you remember anything? I don't remember any of That's all. Well, there's three of them. It's so fun. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's just lovely down there on the beach. Oh, I, I think it. Lillian is awfully frightened down there. I don't know why. Well, but we don't know I've never been happened. down because well, I don't like the ocean. Summertime, summertime, mm, old orchard. Well, she's in Ocean Park, but Old Orchard Beach has a lot of carousing young kids out uh, raising heck. Is that so? That yeah. may be it. But and it's only a mile up the road. Yeah, so you yeah, you can hear all kinds of 
cars zooming by and stuff. But in the um after the after Labor Day, it calms right down and it stays peaceful again. They're back to school, maybe. <laughs> if they go to school or what? I I would I would think it would be kind of hard to live there in the winter time. There are actually people I know I people do. I guess they do, don't but live there. They I shut bet it, it would be cold, yeah. wouldn't it? But yeah. they got damn friends that stay there all winter. Yeah, some people do winter there, but not mm. many. Yeah, no. I, I wouldn't think that if they close their house up, yeah. don't they? Yeah. yeah. So well, Lillian does. But she rents it every now and then during the summer and gets a lot of money. Yeah, her folks have, or her her grandmother has three three of them, Disgusting. and they um, they rent them out during the summer. They do. Yep, and they it helps pay the bills. Well, I, I you guess. wouldn't think people would pay that much money. Oh, me I and guess. you. I would. <laughs> that I mean, they pay I outrageous. Outrageous. I think yes. so. Where do they get the money? I don't know. But. I don't know either. But Lillian rents hers. Yep. But some weekends, her son and his wife come down, their family, and then she has two daughters. And uh, they take turns, I guess, besides renting it. But I've forgotten now. Was it $400 a week she got? It seems so to be one to give it to the Why, it's terrible. Well, yeah. But people save up their money for that's not even spending yeah, their my vacation. Rent, my monthly rent isn't even that much. And mm -hmm. it, but I mean, I'm I'm sure that it must be enjoyable if they get away for. I know what. But oh gee. Well, they must like the ocean. They must. I suppose. <laughs> yep, they She's must. She's invited me down to dive it again, but I will never go down. No. I don't like it. I don't like the ocean. I can give you some little tiny potatoes of mine that I grow. Yeah. You think you could we, use them? No, we got some. We, we got Dad, them. Dad's, Dad's given us a whole bunch, and I see. We haven't even used them up yet. I I'm see. Trying to think of ways we can use them or mm -hmm. something, do something with them. Yes. Well, if you can keep them without freezing, well, they'll keep quite a while. Yeah, he's um. Probably you don't have a cellar or anything. No. No. But your father could keep them in his cellar until you need them. Yeah, he's fixing that up too. Um, they got that. Mm. He's digging it out, and he's got a um. One of them openings with the doors, so he in, in the back way. Oh. So now he he'll be able to store stuff down there, like. So that would be wood better. Or something. Yeah, and he's insulating it a little bit better, so it will. Yeah. It won't freeze down there. <laughs> so that's good. Well, we had a lot of those little seed balls came on the top of potatoes this year. And you'd think, you see them on the ground, you'd think they were little potatoes, but they were not. No. There was, there was those little seed seven. balls. Hmm. They had a pile of them. Well, I saved them years ago, and I've got some little pink potatoes. We don't know what name they are because they're supposed to be a different kind. Comes from those seed balls. Hmm. She had I little pink potatoes. They were kind of long like that. They're little flat ones. We then she some. had little round ones and a dark colored. I guess she lost the dark colored one, but they were all different. Hmm. But We had some Swiss chard for dinner today, and it was picked right out in the garden. There's still some out there. Yep. Can you imagine you like Swiss chard? <laughs> Stays. Well, we don't eat it too much. Um, I've I I used to like it at my dad's because mm. I didn't have to. F I mean, I ate what was given to me. Yeah. I mean, I, I I like it. I mean, I know it's good. I think it's all right. Yeah, well, it's. I don't it's think we have picked any in November before. No. No one else. I know. It's really unusual weather we're having. Mm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Not in fact. Beautiful. It, today and yesterday has been yeah. so warm. I, uh, I'd hate to waste it. And I, I know. know it. I don't I want to be doing it. something. So I think I think we are. We stopped at my dad's before we came here, and he was eating. I think so. Uh, I think we're gonna um, head back there and maybe take a walk. Gonna, we might we might go out and venture up on Indian Mortar.
don't know. Make sure we have our orange jackets on. Yes, yes. What time is it now? It's just uh, 10 of 3. Yes. Huh. So. It gets dark awfully early. Yeah. Yes, it does. Now.